Hello and welcome back to Dev Explaining channel. So today uh, I wanted to do a very quick video. Uh, I have been running Spring Boot with Java 16 and doing some uh, REST APIs and, and REST Assure TDD examples on top of that. But I haven't been fully leveraging the latest Java 16 platform. So the stuff that I have shown would be stuff that would work on Java 8 or 9 or whatever. Uh, very old versions of Java as well. So today let's take full benefit of Java 16 and, and uh, use records to refactor our application to be much nicer. Um, earlier I have shown a few uh, video episodes. Uh, one, one contained uh, just simple Hello World uh, rest assured uh, application. And uh, then in the last one I did some TDD. So we have uh, this people endpoint and I'm claiming that it should have these uh, properties. We should have JSON fields, first name, last name, email, uh, present, uh, not null values. Here is the person class that we created last time. And as you can see, it's full of boilerplate code. This is the stuff that we have been having to do for a very long time. We are uh, used that we should have a constructor as an entry point and definition of the, of the creation API. Then we have getters, uh, accessor methods, no mutators in this case. We have equals and hash code and two string boilerplate code here. Um, so what would you say if I told you this is all unnecessary crap? Because with Java 16, we now have uh, the record concept. And record concept uh, is very simple. You can see that my ID is not appreciating it, but yeah, this is actually not true unless I'm running older version of Java. Java. I, I'll check that later, but it doesn't matter because I'm not running this within Java anyway. So um, uh, some tools will not uh, really appreciate or understand this. It used to be preview since I think Java 14, 15 ish. And then now uh, with, with the Java 16, it just got out of preview. So you don't need that flag anymore. I should have Java 16 set up here as well, but uh, it might be that the tooling is not up to date yet. Doesn't really matter because I can still uh, do this. So string first name, string last name, string email. Yeah, that's all. So this is, um, this corresponds to what I had originally. So all the boilerplate is uh, taken care of. Some details might change a little bit. So there might be, uh, of course, the two string hash code equals implementation might be different to how you have implemented, but the meaning of them should still be same. So uh, if you are refactoring old stuff with records, have to be a bit cautious, but if you have great test coverage, then you can be reckless because the tests will cover your ass. Okay, so here is my record. Let's put it to a test. I need uh, to run this uh, Maven. And here's a little bit of exciting place. I haven't actually done it with exactly this combination before. Okay, so uh, let's uh, run the, we can, we can run the test next because we have it. That makes um, all, always refactoring rather safe, as I mentioned. So we have pretty good test. It failed. Yeah, I was assuming as much. So we got 406 error. Uh, when I'm running tests like this, we can see these uh, not here, but here. So we have a console that's telling the errors here. So uh, we get error uh, instead of getting the real content. And this is because uh, if we go back to Spring Boot, we can see uh, a problem here. So we had a media that's not, uh, we don't have a clear mapping between record concept, although concept is uh, kind of supported and understood, but it's not uh, resolvable. So what to do with that record is not clear. For the earlier class, it was clear. So uh, let's fix that. I earlier just did a random Googling. I have uh, done some blogs on this topic, uh, but uh, there's kind of a known problem right now with Spring Boot. Uh, it has been for some time 
uh, and there's many blogs on it. This is not my blog, but uh, similar to my earlier blogs. It was just more up to date and happened to be the first hit in Google. So uh, I, I kind of know the problem. The problem is uh, serialization. So uh, to make this work properly, we need to put some property uh, hints in, in, in the record. So I have done this earlier. I was just kind of checking to make sure if we still need to do it. I, I assume and expect that at some point we don't, but we just define JSON property, do the import, and uh, this is the stupid part. You have to kind of repeat the name, but that's all you need to do. So as I said, I assume that this is going away at some point, but for now we have this little requirement uh, there's other ways to do this as well. So uh, you can do this once and for all uh, to define a general serializer for records. Perhaps topic for another video. Right now I just wanted to point out that there is still some glitches. This is rather cutting edge stuff. Expect libraries and tooling to not always be quite up to date, although they sure have had some time to do this already. So. If we go back to my code editor, I modified my person class with the JSON properties. We have JSON property, first name, last name, email, set up. Uh, yep. And uh, I'll just to be on the safe side, I, it should catch up and reload it immediately. It might have done so, but I just want to make sure that everything is refreshed because it starts so fast. Okay. So uh, looking good so far. It started, at least I didn't break it. Let's go and run my test again. Okay, so we got a green okay and uh, all good. What I was assuming was true. Uh, finally, we can of course run this in the browser. If we go back to the other window and uh, then we go to the browser and I go to HTTP local localhost 8080. And then we need to go to the people endpoint and uh, there is the JSON file. So um, yeah, I got the same as before with uh, less of a code. Uh, let's recap quickly and then wrap this up. As I said, this is not a very long episode but might be extremely useful because I think everybody is starting to flirt with Java 16 and records rather soon, if not uh, already running production loads there. Okay, so um, key points, um, before you do any refactoring foolishness, um, have uh, some test coverage, otherwise you're in great risk of breaking something. So we had that in place. We had excellent tests that's not assuming too much about the implementation, just the representation. So we are expecting our REST API to not change. That leaves us free to go and do some refactoring. I didn't touch the controller at all, but I replaced my old code with a rather uh, le less verbose code. Let's go back to the old code just to take a quick glimpse at that ugliness. That's now yesterday's ugliness. So there's no need for new systems anymore to suffer from this. A lot of generated boilerplate code and what makes it worse is that some people have a habit of kind of uh, changing these value classes and they are starting to build some implementation inside. So the records have another kind of nice way of forcing people to keep these, uh, well, they are not strictly forcing, but they are guiding towards keeping these just pure structures of data instead of trying to be too clever. So we will end up having uh, data structures, records, and then the logic which is even more functional than before with these. So uh, I, I, I'm kind of a big fan of this, which you can probably see. That being said, as I said, there is some glitches to take care of. So you have to prepare that IDs and then, then your uh, kind of frameworks might need a little bit of adjustment. Typically not much, but there's a world of these little tricks you need to do to get it smoothly running. But applying the tricks I showed to you, you can start with Java 16, Spring Boot REST and records right now. So I hope that was useful for you. Um, I'll, I'll be building all my examples on top of this from now on and hopefully anything I do uh, with Java Spring Boot and REST uh, will, will I, hopefully I don't need to go back ever now. 
that this is out of the box. Um, as always, leave some feedback, click those links, share the links, share the love. Uh, that all helps me to grow. And Lord knows that there's a lot to grow on my channel. I'm still very, very, very tiny. But I hope the content is at least good. I also hope that content is short enough. So let's stop. Bye.